Hi, my name is Amiata Kamara. I'm from Development Gateway and I'm the program manager of the Cashmere platform. Today we are with Mr. Oro. Mr. Oro, please Mr. Oro. All right, thank you very much, Aminata. So, my name is Roland Oro. I'm the founder and director of the Nigeria Open Business Register. Um, we are an ecosystem uh, project that passes these investments into value chains, including the cash value chain. Can you tell us um, your background on the cash sector and what you do? So, I mean, I have a very long um, um, involvement with the cash sector in Nigeria. Uh, this dates back to the uh, year 2000. Um, then I was a consultant, a development consultant. So my role has been one of developing, trying to develop the cash sector. Okay, and that means get, using information. Okay, so at that point when aggregating information and then making it available to stakeholders, you know, to sector operators, you know, and uh, and then from there we moved into uh, the law, the law sector. Mm -hmm. So that has been my history uh, with the cash sector. And why the cash flow sector? Is it from patient or what? So I had an experience in 1996. I got a job as a trader, as a commodity trader mm -hmm. in Lagos. I was working in a small trading company. So we were trading on cash, cocoa, and I think soya beans. Mm -hmm. Now, I lost the job because we, we lost money, you know, in, in trading cash and some other commodities. And that really got my interest that why I mean why is the sector that way? I mean why is it not developed? You know? So yeah. I began to investigate it and so that informed the lot of work I started doing from nineteen ninety six in upward to the to year two thousand, you know, uh, so, sort of doing like stakeholder meetings, you know, bringing people together, you know, to look at what are the issues, you bring in farmers associations, you bring in uh, traders, you bring policy makers, you bring in you know, service providers into a room, to a round table, you know, to sort of look at what are the issues and how we can solve those problems. So that, that started a role in the development. In the and from there, I got into a uh, project. I was working on a project, a DA finding from the project. You know, and, and so uh, I now you know, took on the development aspect of the Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. And how do you envision using the Cashmere platform in your work? I mean, we, we, right now we have what we call the Nigeria Agri Business Register, mm -hmm. which is basically in aggregating information from across different sectors, different value chains, including cash. You know, so the cash in platform is more the concept is very similar to what we have, uh, and we're happy to be you know uh, partnering with the, with cash in. I mean, being the operator of cash in uh, platform here in Nigeria in collaboration with the steering committee. Uh, you know, so information is key. I believe information is a key to development. You know, so uh, aside from developing or helping to create or aggregate the data on the platform, I'm, I will be using inf the information on the platform for um, one of the services that we offer uh, via the register is market intelligence to sector um, operators. You know, so we're going to be you know, you know, using the platform to um, you know, you know, you know, engage our, our clients uh, and also draw them you know, to be aware of the platform, they can also assess the platform themselves. Uh, so my role is sort of dual, you know, we're working to create you know, yeah. the data, but also we, we also want to use the data because uh, by using it, we'll, we'll be able to have experience about how the value that the data provides and then we will see how to improve on the collection process and the analysis and all of that and the product that comes from those kind of data. Mm -hmm. So we have to use it to be able to uh, understand how and other other users yeah. uh, feel about using the data. So yes, yeah, so it's going to be very helpful for our business. Um, uh, before now, we've been doing uh, you know, before the season, the cash trading season, we provide market information to stakeholders, we give them an idea of the international situation, so that uh, there will be manageable speculations, you know, uh, you know, in, in the local market. You know. So, uh, and then of course, we need to have production data. Uh, you know, farmers, you know, yield data, all of that, you know, so the cash in platform is going to be very helpful, you know, to sort of uh, work with other stakeholders, you know, to sort of like, get those data and then make it available to other end users, including ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And so this platform will be a kind of tool for mm -hmm. decision making and for business development. Right? Certainly, certainly, excellent. Yes, yeah. that's, that's correct. That's yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. Can you give us some example of vision you will be able to make thanks to this fashion platform? Can you explain that mm -hmm. you will um, uh, work with users or other partners, but mm -hmm. can you have, do you have some specific examples mm -hmm. on how you can use the fashion platform for so, your business and yes. decision making? So, uh, right now, I mean, our business model is, uh, I mean, we are in the development aspect of the multi-value chains, including cash. You know, so information, information is required. Um, we will be uh, providing information to um, business people um, to make decisions. But at the same time, we, we are going to be trading. Okay, we're going to yeah. be trading uh, value added products. Uh, so we need to know market prices. We need to know, um, um, you know, we need to have information on, you know, buying, you know, opportunities, you know, all, and all of that. So these are areas where we're going to use the, the cash flow platform. Okay? Because the cash flow platform basically is going to be aggregating international prices, demand, supply, situations yeah. across different markets. Um, you know, so, and then of course, local production situations. You know, so we need all this kind of information for our investment decisions. So we're going to be investing in an investment fund, you know, uh, very soon. And we're going to be taking stakes. We're going to be investing in cash flow processing companies within the country. You know, so uh, for those investments to be able to be well utilized, you know, we need information that can really help us, you know, to add value to those investments. You know, so yes, the, the cash flow platform can be very helpful for us, you know, to, to manage our investments. Excellent. And what can be the um, number one priority or data you need currently? You talk about this fund, so mm -hmm. what can be the number one data? Yeah, across the value chain, I mean, we're looking at the value chain approach. Uh, you, you, you can't succeed in processing if you don't have quality raw materials, so quality raw cashew canals. Mm -hmm. And if you have quality raw cashew canals and you process well, you need markets for canals where you can sell. You know, you say, it's going to be the entire value chain uh, information mm -hmm. from primary production, from our spirit. Uh, for instance, we want to know what are the diseases, you know, what are the, uh, you know, I mean, these are, yeah, issues, these are all, you know, primary I mean, issues at the farm level. We need all this kind of data, this kind of information to manage risks at that level. Yeah. We also need information at the processing point. Um, um, we need efficient processing methodologies from maybe Vietnam or other countries that can apply locally. We also need information on best prices, where we can find good prices to sell our canals eventually. You know, so it's not the value chain, the entire value chain, mm -hmm. the entire value chain, that's yes. it, the entire value chain, from production processing to marketing. Yeah, exactly. yeah. including service providers as well. So currently, how do you have access to data? Do you find your data? So, uh, like I said, our history has been information. So, there's cash info, yeah. India. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's been a source. And of course, in Nigeria, locally, we have the um, the Cocoa Research Institute of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They they have some level of information regarding uh, production, you know, research, and development uh, you know, issues, aspects. Uh, and then, of course. There are pockets of sources here and there, yeah. uh, but it, now I think we need to be able to harmonize it, coordinate it very well, and, uh, and, and, and make it available. But the truth is that there has been very, they have been scarcity of you know, up to date current information. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why the sector has been slowed in terms of development. True. Yeah. True. And I think our goal will be to um, allow you to have access to the information in one place. Mm -hmm. We, you can have an information from here and there, but we will try to yeah, put it yes, somewhere yes, yeah, so you can have access to yeah. everything yeah. in one place. Sure. Yeah, that's that's the, the, very helpful. And that's sure. our main goal. Yes. So, what the success can look like in the cash sector? Well, I mean, it's going to be two or three things. Yeah. One is impact. How many people are impacted with better income? With our livelihoods, and that that comes across the farmers, most importantly the farmers, because they are the source. You know, I mean, um, if they don't have an incentive to remain in farming, then what else would the value chain should be really affected? So the farmers' livelihood, um, they they first of all they, they need to see it as a business, right? And once they have that 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 approach, the next thing is is it a good business? And how do you measure good business? Is it's income? I mean, the livelihoods. They, they make money from it, 
and they make money from it and then others do not necessarily have to suffer from that. So impact number one across board. Two is 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 uh, sustainability. Yeah, so everybody benefits. And that's a lot of information. Yeah, information. But right now people keep information and use the gates of other people. And at the end of the day, people are complaining the farmers leave cash to do other things and there's not enough raw cash enough and then there's so much speculation, everybody suffers. I mean it's not sustainable. So impact sustainability. That's 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 what we suffer. And information is the cross cutting part for all of us. I will have to make it happen. You know, we need to invest in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah.